in electrical installation and maintenance. Various types of forms are used to document, track, and manage different aspects of the work. These forms in electrical work play a vital role in ensuring safety, compliance, quality, efficient project management, and effective communication. They provide a structured and organized approach to documenting, managing, and improving electrical installations and maintenance processes, making them indispensable in the field. The specific forms used can vary based on the nature of the electrical work, local regulations, and company policies. Proper documentation is crucial for safety, compliance, and the efficient operation of electrical systems. Correctness of the entry of different forms used in electrical work is necessary in order to acquire right, complete and accurate number of materials and tools needed in a specific electrical job. Here are some of the different types of forms used in electrical works. The first one is purchase requisition. Purchase requisition is a document generated by a user department or storeroom personnel to notify the purchasing department items it needs to order, their quantity, and the time frame. It may also contain the authorization to proceed with the purchase. This is also called purchase request or requisition slip form. This is the sample of purchase requisition form. As you can see at the topmost part is the title of the form, then followed by the name, project, location classification, and the purpose of filling up this form. In the middle part is the table that contain the details of the request. The table indicates the number of rows and columns. Here, you just have to fill out the needed information based on the number of your requested items, their quantity, unit descriptions, unit cost, total cost of each item, and the grand total costs of your requested items. On the bottom portion of the form indicates all the signatories involved in accomplishing this form. We have to remember that these forms are used to request and track materials and equipment needed for electrical projects, ensuring that the right items are ordered and used. The second type of form is the inventory form. Inventory are raw materials, work in process goods, and completely finished goods that are considered to be the portion of a business's assets that are ready or will be ready for sale. Inventory represents one of the most important assets that most businesses possess, because the turnover of inventory represents one of the primary sources of revenue generation and subsequent earnings for the company, shareholders or owners. An inventory form is a document used to track and manage a company's inventory of goods, materials or assets. It typically includes essential information about each item in the inventory. This is the inventory form sample. Same as in purchase requisition form, the heading of the inventory form comprises the name of the form. Then on the top left portion of the form consists of the name, grade, section, school, shop lab, and then the purpose of filling up this form. On the table part, are the key elements typically found on an inventory form. These are the tools and equipment, quantity, number of functional, number of not functional but repairable, number of condemnable, number of borrowed and the number of missing. The bottom part of the form are the persons who are the signatories of the form. The date of filling up this form will also be included at the last portion of the form. An inventory form in the context of electrical work would serve to track and manage electrical equipment, components, and materials used in electrical installations and maintenance. Electrical inventory forms are essential for electrical contractors, maintenance teams, or organizations involved in electrical work. They help in tracking and managing electrical components, ensuring that the right materials are available when needed, and preventing shortages or overstocking. Proper inventory management is crucial to the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of electrical projects. The specific format and details on an electrical inventory form may vary depending on the organization's needs and the type of electrical inventory being managed. Next is the job order or work order form. Job order or work order form is a written instruction to perform a task according to specified requirements, time frame, and cost estimates. These forms initiate and authorize specific electrical tasks. They include information about the scope of work, location, materials needed, and scheduling.
A job order or work order form in electrical work is a document used to initiate, authorize, and track a specific electrical task or project. It serves as a formal request for the completion of electrical work and provides essential details about the job. Here is the sample of job order or work order form. Of course, the title or the name of the form is on the top portion of the form. Next is the client or worksite details. All we need to do in this part is to write the client name, client address, phone number and email. Let's proceed to the order details of this form. Just input the date issued, issued by, work order number, work performed by, the description and the materials required for the job. And the last part is the completion information. Complete all the details required in this section like the date completed, time required, materials used, remarks, employee signature, the supervisor signature and the date signed. Always remember, job order or work order forms in electrical work help ensure that tasks are properly documented, authorized, and executed. They facilitate effective communication among team members, technicians, supervisors, and clients, leading to the successful completion of electrical projects. These forms are commonly used in electrical contracting companies, maintenance departments, and organizations involved in electrical installations and repairs. And the last form is the borrower's form. Borrower's form is a form used to request for tools and equipment needed for a particular job. It indicates the department the borrower is connected with the date, the job that is to be done, the person who will approve the request when it was returned, and if it was in good condition. A borrower's form typically refers to a document used to record the borrowing of items or assets from one party by another. In the context of electrical equipment or tools, a borrower's form could be used when someone needs to temporarily borrow electrical tools, instruments, or equipment. Here is the sample of borrower's form. Here's what such a form might include. The name of the form, of course, then the needed information such as name of borrower, student or employee number, program, department, date borrowed, time borrowed, laboratory, and the grade and section if you are still a student. Then fill up the needed information on the table. List down all the tools and equipment that you are going to borrow in the description column, their quantity and of course the remarks. The bottom part include the requester or borrower's name and signature. Name and signature of the in charge custodian who checked and approved the request. Then the date and time when it was returned. And the last is the name and signature of the custodian who received the borrowed tools and equipment. Remember that this form helps establish a clear record of the equipment lending process, including the terms of the loan and responsibilities of both parties. It can be a useful tool for managing the temporary use of equipment, ensuring accountability, and preventing disputes or misunderstandings. These are just some of the different types of forms used in electrical installation and maintenance. These forms in electrical installation and maintenance serve several crucial purposes and their importance cannot be overstated. In summary, forms in electrical installation and maintenance play a vital role in ensuring safety, compliance, quality, efficient project management, and effective communication. They provide a structured and organized approach to documenting, managing, and improving electrical installations and maintenance processes, making them indispensable in the field.